Now, let's talk about the tools that you are going to use to communicate with other drivers on the road. Or other, it might not, it might be driver, it might be somebody walking, it might be the cyclist. The tools that you are going to use, some of the tools we are going to use your your light, your indication, your clean your tongue, your horn, all those tools that that is what you are going to talk about today. That you must know in your vehicle that at every situation which tools you're supposed to use which command you are supposed to use that is what you are talking about today and if you are getting value in this video while watching it simply like comment and share and if there is anything you want me to talk about that i've not spoken about before you can also indicate it and let your families and friends know about this page following me liking my page is free kindly like please follow this page please subscribe to this channel if you are on youtube please i'm begging you follow the page let other people know about it because it is important so many people are struggling to pass their code and i am here to make it simple i'm here to make it look simple as possible why am i so confident i wrote this code and i passed it once and i believe everyone can do it if me i can do it Everybody can do it. So let's go to the class. Communicating with other users on the road, other people that are on the road, how are you going to communicate with them? So we have done how to go security, how to distance you have to live. But now, how are you going to communicate with them? You know, there are some situations that it's very important you communicate very fast. So that is what we are going to talk about today. So one of it is clean your tongue. Clean your tongue is mean the indicator. That light that if you want to turn, that is your turning light to the right or to the left. You need to hold that light. It shows that you are telling the the driver at your back or anyone that is going that your intention, I want to turn to the right or I want to turn to the to the left. That is why the clean your tongue it must be functioning in your car. And what are you, what what does how can you know the work that it is doing is if you want to change a line, maybe you are moving on a line on the two-way road and you want to change a line, you have to hone it and let the driver know. Or you want to change direction, or you want to overtake, or you want to stop, or you want to come out. Of, you have parked already and you want to come out of your parking space. That is the five ways that you can use your clean your tongue to change line, to change direction, to overtake, to stop. And to come out of your parking space, that is the five way to use the clean your tongue, which is your indicator, which is your turning light. Then you go to the B part, it said lavatiso sonne. Lavatiso sonne means your own. How are you going to use your own? That is what we are talking about. We are still talking about. And it, you must only, only use your own when you are in, in dangerous situation. Like for example, this driver is trying to re reverse and you, you are coming. You can hold here so that the driver can know that somebody wants to park. Maybe he's not seeing you for you to call the attention of that driver. And also, in this case, this road is very close. It's too narrow. And it's, you, can, it's, you should know that it's for two vehicles. For you to show your indication, you have to just want so that the driver that is coming that cannot see you here because of this rock that has blocked it you should be able to know that someone driver is coming that is why you have to use your clean your tongue also your your own also and you should know that you owning in the city it is on tardy it is not allowed even at night except there is a danger immediate danger that wants to happen that is the only time you can use your own then the C part is talking about Appel Lumino, that is the flashing light. When do you use the flashing light? You know, because it is interdict, especially at night, to use that light because it will make blood, to make the eyes of the driver coming to dig you or to blow that driver. That's why you cannot be using it anyhow. But you can use it to let the driver know at night. If there is something, you should let the driver know. Maybe the driver on his own full light. And you, you are coming. Normally, the driver does not have the right to run on full light. And you have to just use that one to let him know that he has on his full light down at night. So, or at night, he wants to, you are getting closer to a, a junction. 
you can use a pen luminol also. That is the blinking, the blink flashing light to let the driver that might be coming at the other direction to know that the driver is coming. Or you want to, you want to turn in a curve also, in a curve, in a garage, in a curve as well. So you can use it also. And the part is low for the distress. Low for the distress. That is, that means the emergency light is always red. That light is red. That emergency light, when are you, can you use it? It's only when there is mechanical problem in your car, you can use it. Or you are the last. There is an old dog and you are the last, last at the back. You need to put on that light if you are the last at the back. Once you pass, that is once you see there is a driver at your back, you, you off it so that the other driver can take note of that one or in case there is a very somebody just stop at your front or the person started moving very slowly you, you need to hold your phone in distress that is the emergency light so that you can let other vehicle passenger at your back to know or other vehicle at your back to know there is problem or you are on the road there is problem with your car you park it there you need to hold your phone in distress in order to be able to let other drivers that are passing by that there is something wrong with this car here and see you in my next class